This is New German Performance. They have been part of the Volkswagen community for two decades or longer. As long as I've been going to shows in the US, they have been here. Um, taking a look at just what they have out front. Tropic Orange Mark IV, Mark VII Sport Wagon, TDI Jetta on 1552s, the Eurovan. This, this, is, this is just out front in the parking lot. But inside, there's some really special stuff. So let's go in and say hello. Um, we are, we're being very cautious. So I'm gonna mask up and uh, try not to spread COVID if I have it and try not to get COVID if I don't have it. I don't think I have it. I don't want it. They even have a showroom. Hello, Arno. Six feet away. Very quickly in their showroom, yet they stock hella lights, ran line. Oh, Black Forest Industries, hello. Fact. Ooh, like a whole line of Black Forest industry stuff. That's awesome. Um, some carbony bits, some plasticky bits. Oh, um, hashtag sponsored. So yeah, all the lick em all, including the Ceratec that I just put in the tour egg now yesterday when you were watching this. And then APR, quad exit, APR from Mount Intercooler, K and N, some niche wheels, Vossen. See an apt advert back there. Oh, nice hella Mark III. Actually, that's kind of bitching. Oof. Man, there was, back in the day, you could not give these things away, and now it is so cool and in and just on vogue. Uh, some corpo seats, got some daytime television. What, what, is, what is that? Wow. So it's cast aluminum? Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Have not seen that before. That's very cool. All right, we are behind the, the whatever that is, the old Western saloon doors. <laughs> Arno, is there anything that we cannot see? Now it's all, it's all fair game. Okay, all right. This is a funny looking Volkswagen. Yeah. We're doing an ESS supercharger on a V63 AMG. Okay. Fun little project for it. How much will that put out? Uh, we're going to be two to a mid-six. 600 and some horsepower on the AMG 63 and a very loud fan, but that's fine. And then back to Mark 6s. Okay. Some BBS boxes. Yeah. This is a cool one. This is a new Ford Spark Canadian Bitter Customer Bronco. And we are doing chronic control cars. Okay. You're finding a number of differences um, along the way. European spindles that are going to require us to change up the spindles to go to. Oh, they're the small spindles. Yeah. 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 Um, and just like a. Different exhaust setup. Yeah. Uh, so it says it's a GTI, but it's not a GTI. Every little bit of maintenance is kind of uh, presenting some fun obstacles for us. Yeah. It's actually great. Yeah. Very cool. Mark 7 in for maintenance, A6 in for maintenance, and something that's going to piss off YouTube with music in the background. <laughs> okay, so that's the, like the main service area. You know, bread and butter, pay the bills, etc. But back here, this other little warehouse, this is, uh, yeah, this is where there's some, I want to say fancier stuff, but different stuff. 16 valve Motronic. Okay, so from uh, like 91, 92. So, it's coming together nicely. Okay. Very nice, old school. Yeah, it's uh, 50 mil manifold. Oh, ooh. yeah, it's just got it's got all the little pieces. But Scirocco, mm -hmm. 50 millimeter. That's, that's like right. a thousand dollar manifold. Yeah. Now. They're so hard to find. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. ATS cups, yeah. Euro yeah. GTI interior. Yes, it, he's got all the bits and pieces on it. Oh, wait, is this a Euro GTI? It's not. It's actually an actual. Uh, it's a late GTI, and he swapped over to all the early bits. So, got it. Did the rear plate here? You know the rear conversion to the uh, early style. Ah, yeah. okay. So now it's a very good replica. But this that those tail lights never came with this dashboard in Europe. I think. 
Yeah, it's a. Uh, it came with the early mix. style, <laughs> maybe. It's a mix but, of that for sure. Very nice. All right, so yeah, T TCR. Yep, this is our TCR car. Um, <sighs> this is you just have this for fun. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It doesn't um, actually race in the series anymore, right? No, no, not currently. But you will see our RS3 out on track this weekend. It's a professional racing debut. Um, we're really excited about, and uh, yeah, a bunch of our guys are actually down there right now doing practice sessions, and the first real race will be on Friday, and we're looking forward to it. Amazing. Do you, so that's part of the main series, right? Like Touring America or whatever the it's yeah, called? It's part of the SRO TC America. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, so it's do you think it'll be on the internet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, it will be available. So basically the SRO World Challenge uh, Championship, um, they'll have a live stream on YouTube. Awesome. So yeah, we need to check that out in a few days. Uh, this will, let's see, this video is Thursday's video maybe, but let's, let's look more on this in a minute, but we'll come back to that. All right. This was uh, APR's uh, car that they had uh, and we purchased off them when they, uh, when they switched up ownership. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a full, full build engine, standalone, um, kind of one-off build. Wow. And this was when they were doing like stage three, the stage three kits for the, uh, um, TTRS. Yeah, this was their, uh, their throwback car. You can look, look under the veil a bit. Ah, oh, so Audi rotors with six piston calipers. So for those that don't know, APR went through a phase. Like, they didn't quite buy a jumbo jet, but they kind of bought everything else, and they just built wild cars and race trailers and then different ownership came in and was like, wait, 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 wait. This is, yeah. this is kind of silly. Yeah, so a bit of cowboy th this is, yeah, one of those cars. Yeah, it's got every, every, little, every little piece that it could get. Yeah. Yeah, fully built motor, big turbo, obviously intake manifold. It's, uh, it's a walk down memory lane for sure. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks, I mean, with the welds and everything, it doesn't, you know, it looks period correct. It doesn't right. look like it was made last week or anything. Yeah, like I remember these coil packs. Those were like, uh, gosh, I think they were like, you know, six or seven hundred dollars for a set. Oh my gosh. How much horsepower do you think it makes when it's in running state? Well, running state is the, is the key. It's a, it's a standalone system that uh, nobody uh, is really sure how to tune, uh, <laughs> including the APR at the time. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's a little old school. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's an eight, 800 horsepower build, so. Okay, yeah. so yeah, eight, 800 horsepower when it runs, but kind of <laughs> mothballed a yeah, little bit little right bit. now. It's back for right now. Cool, so B5 and a half for some reason. Oh uh, yeah. Just okay. A, just, a, just a car we have here. And then a chop top Mark V. For no reason. No one <laughs> asked for this in the whole world, but there it is, a Lord. You see the roof is sectioned and chopped. Nobody asked for this. No offense. <laughs> like, but who, who was this? Was this Dave or like, who, was this? It was, it, was a, it was a project car um, that we had planned. And um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it, uh, the gentleman that was doing the body work for us, um, I mean, unfortunately passed away, so oh. kind, of stole, kind of stole things out of it. Okay, uh, that's so a I shame. Mean, we're just kind of at a crossroads of, you know, what the next step is with it. So it's hard to see, but it's like a Scirocco window back there yeah. almost, and like a really small canvas roof. Yeah, so it's, uh, All right. we, got, we got some figuring out to do before this one sees the road. Yeah, there's, there's some cut marks. Um, wild. It's, it, that looks really like a Scirocco quarter panel, but it's unique. It's, it's something. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, put a door skin on it, like a Perspex, uh, yeah, Perspex window, and then just send it. You don't need windows at H2O or H2NO. Yeah, we can, I was, you know, my vision for it is just put some Lexan in it on a roll cage. And, <laughs> and the, again, period correct, really yeah. sharp, boser, angry look hood. MFK headlights. <sighs> nice. It nice. It is, it is the 2000s. Very, it is. Very positive. Do you think that's when it was started? 
Or is this like... It's basically a, what, the engine? No, the, the project. When, how long has this been sitting here, do you think? Oh gosh, I want to say this started, it was over 10 years ago. Got it. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> so back before, well, when Mark 6s were still just becoming a thing, this, this, yeah. Wild. All right. So we'd like <laughs> to see that on the road sometime. This, goodness knows. I wonder which one is closer. And see, uh, and see the, the uh, sibling to the TCR part touches this this Friday. This Friday will be yes. the first race. So they do have two of them. They have the Audi version, which is really the same car. Um, a little bit quicker. Is it? Oh, well, aerodynamically, right? Yeah. yeah but yeah, the, the engine and everything's all Power regulated. Yeah. So, yep. um, yeah, sedans are faster than hatches. Sorry, people. <laughs> uh, all right. But again, we're going to look at this a little bit more. But there is over here as well a Porsche. Uh, no, DKW? Yeah, DKW. Okay. Oh, yeah. It says right there. DKW. Uh, this thing is amazing. This thing is just screaming for like a EA... 888, 500 horsepower. Um, just leave the fenders off. Yeah, more of a restoration. Come on. Sure, okay. <laughs> I heard there's two of them. I think there was like another one, or this one was the parts one. Um, um, I'm not 100% on the but... history, but um, probably the most interesting thing is the leather, leather yeah. body. This is actually yeah, leather. Yeah, it's leather, super not vegan, yeah. over wood yeah. with yeah. just... Some little German with a hammer. Some skilled tradesman just hammered these in. Super nerdy, super awesome. Yeah, you can see that. Got a tiny window. The hardware here. Yeah, just nails. In need, and of, a, in need of a restoration. Has semaphores, which is something that or is so cool. <laughs> it's in need of slamming. And that doesn't even need lowered. Just, just lower all the details. Hit up Rotiform. We'll, we'll get some resto wheels okay. done, some aero discs. Throw an engine in it. Done. Yeah. Look at this wiper. Ugh, amazing. But this is part of Audi's collection as well. Yep, it's part of their collection. You know, before you had to do a single wiper conversion, it just came that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. I know. The, uh, let me switch angle. It it's like really tiny. Like. Yeah. Looking at the width compared to to a Beetle. All right, again, like I can just reach the entire way across this car with no problem. So I'm pretty sure you'll be sitting like this with your uh, co-pilot. And yeah, there, there's a Mark One Golf to scale. Ah, it really doesn't work for scale, but just imagine Mark One Golf looks kind of big and definitely way more substantial considering it's just leather and wood and terrifyingness. But in 1930, whatever. This is what you had. It's probably a fancy one even, but semaphores, and, uh, love it. Absolutely love this. And DKW did become part of Audi. They say it made up one of the four rings, but that's not really, yeah. Yeah, the Audi Union badge yeah, the, so. yeah, the Auto Union, NSU didn't have the Auto Union badge, but they were all thrown together and that formed. Yeah, so there was Horsch, DKW, Wanderer. There was another one. I'll know it if I hear it. Someone will, <laughs> someone will tell us, but anyway, and then NSU went in later, and, and that was it. That is Audi. So this is your 1930s Audi. And switching from the oldest to oop, the newest. Yeah. Ah, the TCR. So all of these are built the same. Um, your only options, your two options. Do you want the DSG or do you want the sequential gearbox? And there's very little light inside, but it is a DSG. In fact, there's no light inside. Okay, that's a little better. So yeah, DSG, the DSG transmission is literally the same as your road going one. There is, there's no difference. Does it paddle shifts? Um, I played with this car before and one thing that breaks them, it does have the quick release steering wheel, but you have to make sure to really push it on. If you baby it, then you can break the connections because it is all sorts of legit. I mean, there's your wipers, your headlight switches, everything there. And there's really not a lot going on inside. Uh, plumbed for fire extinguisher. Um, yeah, the pedal box is completely different. I mean, just the uh, firewall was welded in. You can see where it goes all the way down with the steering spline is the same, but Everything else around it is all sorts of wonky there. And 
Yeah, the door cards are actually custom. Yeah, it's all just, this is just uh, yeah. to look like the real deal. But those are available. All of these parts are supported, so you can just call up Volkswagen Motorsport and be like, hey, I need a whatever part number that is. Same on the TCR cars. Sorry, TCR. Same on the Beetle G GRCs, even the carbon fiber body panels for those. You can just, well, if, if you're able to contact Volkswagen Motorsport and give them the part number, it'll send you the spares. Okay, Arne is going to do the honors on the hood, and you'll see that there is the, well, not an inlet, an outlet yeah. there. So like a V-mount intercooler setup. Yep, so that goes in through there, mm -hmm. channels up, and then out through the top, which is amazing. And then I believe the airbox is capped for size. Mm -hmm. The engine you'll recognize is exactly the same as a normal one. Yeah, the only thing you'll notice is like the PCV is a little different. And yeah. Different map sensor, but... Ultimately, it's a IS-38 based. Yeah, you know, I mean, throttle body, everything. everything, the sensor, that's all exactly the same there. This, this is what made TCR cool. Mm -hmm. And if, a little bit weird about the series, if the Golf was that much faster, they will add weight to it, kind of arbitrarily to slow it down compared to the field. So they didn't restrict the engines as much as the Honda, the Audi S3, the, well, the Audi TCR. They would, if someone had a big advantage, they'd just try and slow it down to make it competitive. So everyone's meant to be on a fairly even plane, even though completely different engines and everything else. But I mean, everything just looks kind of normal. Like the clamp on the downpipe, like everything's just, yeah. everything's just VW. There, if you need to know it, is the part <laughs> number for the headlight. <laughs> are the same i believe yeah i think that was kind of the point that like a lot of them were were normal and i mean even even the hood looks like a regular this one that's a piece that's like added into a factory hood. yep it's so just just this drop-in piece is what's different super cool but you need to have some skills and um cojones <laughs> to to mount this on your street car like that oh, but. yeah the whole the whole core support is you know, totally, totally different. But this, this is where it's cool. Like these little brackets, yeah. like thing. And look, there's the part number for the bracket there. So if you didn't believe me, five G V eight zero five nine three two B is a passenger side headlight bracket for a TCR. But that looks. Yeah, one of my favorite things is the motor mounts. Oh yeah, the solid there's, motor mounts. There's no, no give. Yeah, just bolt it up. But look, it's all. Braced. braced and beautifully CNC'd or however else they made. I know it's welded. Um, but yeah, super cool. But again, really is kind of just a golf. Yep. Turned out to 11 and for $115,000, but it's still a golf. The bones are still there. Yeah, and the parts. I mean, it, it, hey, the shit, the gearbox legit. This DSG gearbox legit street gearbox if you broke it you can put a normal one in it like that's totally normal so amazing i'm just gonna jump in for just a second yes i'm back in my office now but i want to make sure to get this information right because i really believe that the tcr cars and the various series that they race in around the world is a really cool and kind of accessible motorsport so the new german performance audi sport TCR car is going to be racing this coming weekend at Virginia International Raceway, VIR, in Virginia, not too far from their headquarters in Maryland. So, the racing is in partnership with APR, MilitaryMotorsports.com, 034 Motorsport, Reflected Images, and VP Auto Collision. So that's who's helping them go racing along with Audi Sport this weekend. But the very important information for you, and I've got it right here, Race one is around about 2.15 p.m. on Friday, so tomorrow. Race two is Saturday, 11.30 a.m. local time. That's EST, Eastern Standard Time. And then Sunday, race three is 11.20 a.m. So you can check it out on YouTube. It's broadcast live for free. There's a link in the comments. All right, back to yesterday. Yeah, so, goodbye is, uh, to uh, NGP. Um, again... Because these, I'm trying to do these daily, there is the, well, the new name for the race series uh, of Touring Car in the USA this weekend, and it will be on the interwebs. So during COVID, etc., 
Um, here, I'll walk backwards so you can see all the other NGP cars or customer cars or whatever else. Um, check that out online. It is a wonderful concept. It's a great series. Oh, there's, there's an RS3. Um, so NGP will be competing in the Audi TCR car as opposed to the Volkswagen GTI one that they have just sitting in the back for fun and for show. So thank you, NGP. Good luck to everyone who is racing this weekend. And please do make sure to go check that out. Although today is today and this is going out tomorrow, I'm going to go and continue my drive on. So I hope that was fun checking out new German performance here in Maryland. Bye.